Yes, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and in this video you are going to see my reaction to the endings from My Hero Academia. Well the thing is, is that I did them previously so I thought I'd bring them all over so you could see what my theories and thoughts were at the time before I'd even watched the show itself. Make sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and if you click the link in the description below that will take you to my Patreon where you can watch my full uncut early access reactions of My Hero Academia. But without further ado, I'm excited to show you this. Nice intro, like that. Really kicks in. Running away from school, perhaps, to find a new adventure. Certainly running a long way. Oh. oh, he's dreaming of school. Oh, the music's really catchy. I love the transitions in the music. Oh, I love the push there. Love that. That the running is quite uh, quite satisfying actually. So that was an interesting ending. That was quite interesting to see where things were going to be heading because didn't really give a lot away. There was a lot of running, definitely a lot of running. There was some nice little footprints and also some reminiscence. So maybe a new school is upon the uh, the young the young man there. And uh, yeah, also for the record, when I did the openings, it was really funny. Academia obviously means school, but I had a complete brain fart. And I was like, actually, yeah, I should have known that. And people in the comment section kindly were like, you realize academia means school, which I do obviously know that means that. But yeah, yeah, it's a solid end in that. It was uh, very colorful. Music was great. Loved the transitions in the music as well. It's actually really catchy, really catchy music. So yeah, on to ending two. Ooh. Nice harmonies. Again, it's really catchy. Seems a lot of uh, feeling sorry for ourselves. Where's the head gone? Ooh. Oh, I love how it drums speed up there. Yeah, it's really driving. The music's really driving. Yeah, it's really catchy music. Really like it. Visuals look really cool. I think this ending has a, has a little happy ending here. Yeah, the ending seemed to have quite a sad start and then uh, seemed to pick up and be quite happy at the end where I felt quite warm inside because throughout that sort of first part of that ending, I was a little bit, oh, I'm a little bit sad. But yeah, it's really, really good again. The music was really driving. Just loved how it just sort of went at the harmonies at the start and then just peeled into this lovely sort of open, open musical section, which was uh, obviously the chorus. Yeah, loved it. Visuals are absolutely fantastic. And again, it sort of, again, signifies for me that maybe then at the end of that ending, if that makes sense, that they were all back together. And yeah, hopefully, which I've obviously seen opening three, they're all then, uh, yeah, ready to take on the world and, uh, well, if anything, go back to school. Oh, I love that guitar. Bow, bow, bow. Oh, I love the halftime. I was expecting it to go to full time then with... Uh, how that guitar was. Love the 
driving kick drum and hi-hats. Oh, and then the little bark in between. Love that. Oh. I love how just an apple fell out of his lunch bag. It's amazing. Ooh, the music sort of turned then, and then the visual turned as well to something a little bit darker. Ooh. Lots of still images. Characters look amazing, by the way. Especially that character. Hench. Hench as fuck. Oh, I love the half time. Oh, the music in this one. Oh my God, the music. I absolutely love that ending there. That was so good. It was so, so good. I was expecting the drums to sort of go into full time after that really awesome guitar riff at the start. But then it went to half time and it was actually quite refreshing. It was really nice. And obviously as it was building up on the toms with the palm muted riff, it then started to take a bit more of a turn visually and the characters look absolutely incredible. Now for me, there was something going on at the end of that in terms of a big, big fight. But then it seemed as though after they fought, they all sort of joined together. So maybe was it a, a mutual agreement that maybe we shouldn't fight, we should be uh, fighting together. But yeah, in terms of, like I said, the visuals on this, My Hero Academia visuals are so, so good. And the music just, again, I say it, every anime reaction, whether that be opening or ending, the visual just encapsulates the music. And yeah, we're now going on to... Uh, Ending four. Mm. Interesting visual. This is nice. Ah, oh, opened up lovely there. Love the low, low tuned snare. Drum fill. Uh. Oh, the nice little drum fills are really nice and spicy here. Lunch break going on. Oh, oh dear. Someone's a, a lunch thief. Oh, Half time. It's not a massive sounding track, but it's just really hit you. unexpected okay there's the lunch feast oh that was absolutely awesome i really really liked how just the the drums had these little nice little nuances in them. The drum fills were so, so great. Obviously, from a drummer's perspective, they were sweet. And that low tune snare was great. It was just a great tune in general. But in terms of the visuals, again, again, I've got to say, they were absolutely superb. I don't really like a, uh, I don't really like a, uh, a lunch thief. But yeah, that seemed as though the little thief came along and then sort of joined together. So uh, yeah, it just seems as though for me, when you're seeing like the scenes, especially from the schooling side, academia, that there seems to be more, more learnt from that particular, uh, from that particular sort of moment. But yeah, it's, uh, it's just fantastic. They're fantastic to watch. And again, it's difficult because I've obviously watched the openings. I've not watched the series. Now, a lot of people are going to say, you need to watch the series and react to that. Obviously, again, I think I've said before in previous like anime reactions that I would sit and happily watch episodes of anime and react to it but it's time it's a lot of effort and to be honest it's something that may ruin my experience with the openings and the endings because then i'd sort of then not be able to sort of sync everything together because then it's like well i know what's going to happen or i know what's going to be happening etc so i might do i might do it in the future we'll see if there's a demand we'll see a big demand that is so yeah, but absolutely love doing these and I love theorising stuff and trying to do my best. With endings, it's really difficult to theorise because obviously you're 
seeing the aftermath of the actual series. So I try and more try to more comment on the visuals and the actual music. But yeah, they're solid endings. They really are solid endings. And uh, yeah, hopefully there's uh, there's some good times ahead for everyone. Yeah, the last one started with like a nice little acoustic guitar. So a cu- couple of sad endings perhaps coming our way. Left alone, perhaps. He's an ugly looking chap, but might be very helpful. Yeah, you feel it's going to build. Again, that sketch, we saw that sketch in Ending 1. Is that his perfect role model? Or his perfect character? Like the halftime. Ah... It's really interesting, actually, how this series kind of doesn't fit together as much as other ones do in terms of the storylines, especially with... Oh, that was a nice ending. That was actually really nice. I mean, you come to expect it, obviously, with these anime endings because they seem a lot more dramatic than the openings. As I've always said, the openings are like 100 miles an hour. But it seemed to me like there there were people that this this young fine young man was looking up to and as he got more and more excited he saw more of his heroes and then when we saw obviously the uh the big man himself he got more and more excited and obviously it seems to me like he's back with these people who love him and care for him dearly and maybe he was a little bit lost who knows but yeah again the music was really nice it was dramatic it was quite dramatic music but at the same time it was fitting it was really fitting with what was going on but yeah very, very solid so far. We're about halfway through, and uh, yeah. And again, I thank you for stick sticking around and hearing my weird theories and talking about the music, and yeah. Well, more importantly, enjoying it. Oh yeah, we're, we're a little bit more fast paced now. We're getting into it. Love the ride, simple driving that. Oh, the acoustic guitar is a nice little addition there. Nice little nuances there. Are we looking at another character, perhaps, that's wanting to go to hero school? Can't believe I didn't know about academia. Brain fart moment, as I said. Such a wicked piece of music. Oh, on the downbeat. And then back up again. Love it. Oh, so driving. Oh, the vocal! The vocal in that was awesome. I love the visual on that. I do I do like a bit of a grey visual, I've got to be honest. But the music didn't really match the visual. You'd sort of think it would be more dramatic. But for me, I think we were seeing, for me there, an introduction of possibly a, a, a new young, young apprentice, so to speak. But yeah, it was just lovely. And again, the main character, obviously our, our chappy with the green hair, I think for me it's like... <sighs> you don't see much of him in certain parts of endings and then he just sort of appears. So it's like he's not as prominent as he was in the openings. But yeah, the music was great. Again, I just love the music on this particular series. The openings, I'm not going to spoil anything. Obviously, make sure to check out my openings up there. My openings reaction, I should say, because they're not mine. They're obviously someone else's that I react to. Anyway, I digress. But yeah, make sure to check them out because I just think 
yeah, the music in this particular series is just absolutely killer. Visuals are great. And just, uh, again, I use this term so much. It encapsulates the visual with the audio and all sorts going on. So, yeah, I think we're going on to opening seven now. Oh, the little synth over the top. Love that. So we're back to these, like, usual colours of My Hero Academia now. Rather than sort of, like, the, the lighter stuff. I'm just going to hold my camera. Sun keeps going in and out on my curtain. It's just over here. So you go, the light comes in. <laughs> anyway. Oh, nice. Nice little break there. And we go down again. Sorry. Oh, I love that. Oh, this is wicked. Are we seeing a lot of the characters that have gone from sort of like, you know, sort of older now? Yeah, I think it's like it's like seeing all the characters evolve is great. So what we're seeing there, sorry for the adjustment to the camera, by the way, it's because I sit right next to my window and the sun is like shining in. I've got a curtain here, which is, can only do so much. Anyway, yeah, with this particular series, I think what you see at the end is, is very much like a reminiscence of everything because you see this introduction of new characters and then you kind of see these walks through time, which to me is quite fitting really with how the visual and the audio is. I mean, in terms of the audio, again, there's such a strong set of endings in terms of the audio. They really think about this, don't they? They really think about this. It's absolutely incredible. And, you know, I think from what we're seeing, obviously the lots of lots of pictures, I think we're seeing a lot of the characters now grow up and sort of move themselves on. I mean, who goes from a battle to a coffee shop? I mean, it's just like, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna battle with everybody and make enemies and then I'm just gonna serve coffee and cake. But... I could be wrong, but looking at that, it was um, quite amusing. But yeah. Oh, that guitar's lovely. Oh. Got some good news, perhaps. Oh, the bass run and the hi hat bark there. That's the headless person's back again. We had that earlier. Great groove. Oh, the halftime fill and then into halftime is beautiful. His head looks a bit like a penis. God, what is going on with some of these characters? Yeah, celebrate cheese. Got to celebrate cheese, haven't we? Music's so strong in this. Oh my God, the run at the end there has just got me all giddy. That was ridiculous. That little segment of music there with the bass run and the hi-hat barks and just the cheese at the end. I think she was holding cheese. Anyway, yeah, again, just the visuals again on this are just so, so strong. But the music, I mean, in terms of all the little sort of syncopations and the nuances, probably my favourite in terms of ending so far, in terms of the music. It was just crazy. It's just absolutely crazy. And the thing is, it's really strange in these sets of endings in particular that you kind of see, I, I don't know, I, I'm not seeing a pattern here of different storylines. You kind of see different characters going in and out of what they're doing. You don't really see a pattern. Whereas in openings, you kind of see the same characters. But with the endings, we're seeing something different. It's almost like 
there's a cross universe going on here. I might be totally wrong, but yeah, head on to opening, uh, head on to ending nine now. Oh, seems a bit sad. Oh no, someone's left their, I was about to say Teddy, but that actually might be a character. Please, sir. Oh, it's a Teddy, luckily. <laughs> The little lo-fi drums going on. Oh, see, he's back. Back with his mates. Oh, we've got penis head and headless there in the canteen queue. Does it look like a penis? Looks a bit like a penis. Love the build up there. Love that build up. Do you know what, right? I love how dramatic it is. Yeah, it needed to open up. So wicked, honestly. Oh, da -da 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 -da. Love that again. Oh, I love that. That little da -da 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 -da. That was so... Oh, I love that. Da -da 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 -da. So good. That was so good. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm easily pleased with small sections of music. However, that was absolutely awesome. And... Yet again, we we see the, the little green-haired chap. He, he turns up every now and again, and you're kind of thinking, where's he been? What's he been doing? Because again, as I said, with these endings, as fantastic as they are, it's really hard to pick apart a theory. I'm sort of trying to really more sort of dive in into the analysis of the, of the music and the visuals rather than trying to come up with some sort of theory or story, maybe a little bit. I mean, it seems again that the the two friends that he was with, has he has he been somewhere? Has he completed another assignment at school? Has he... Has he has he nearly passed the uh, the hero school, so to speak? But yeah, very very solid. We've only got two open. I keep saying openings. We've only got two endings left now, so yeah, it's gonna be uh, gonna be emotional. Gonna be emotional. But hopefully, uh, yeah, my my hero academia journey will uh, will only just be beginning with um with the series itself. So yeah, yeah, on to the next one. Love that piano sound. It's got lovely tempo to this. The music, that is. Oh, the lo fi again. Oh, it's quite refreshing to hear a, a different ending have just like lo-fi drums, like, you know, hip-hop drums. I love it. It's not lo-fi, but you know what I mean, hip-hop. Who's this? Love that visual. Love the visual on this. Close to the end now. Loved the music in that particular ending because I thought it was just going to break into something, but it actually kept quite tame. Now, is that going to be sort of a you know, an ongoing theme with the last ending that we've got coming up? Or is it going to be like, yeah, 100 miles an hour? I hope so, because, uh, yeah, I do love a uh, 100 miles an hour music when it comes to anime openings or endings. But, yeah, it just seems as though we're now getting to the end. Is he now getting to the end of his schooling? Is he now about to leave school and go off to college? Hero Academia College, university thing, whatever. But, <laughs> God, that's weird. Anyway, but, yeah, as I said, I just think now that this, that the, the Obviously, our green-haired chappy, I'll keep calling him. But basically, 
for me, it just seems like he's now getting to the end. He's learned everything. He's learned his craft. He's learned how to battle. He's learned how to do everything. He's allowed, he's, he's allowed himself to make friends, make enemies. But more than anything, he's become a better person. And yeah, this is sort of the last hurrah for me going into this last ending. So yeah, it's been a pleasure. I've absolutely enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, let's get on to the last one. You just felt it was going to be more upbeat. This to me looks like a, a walk through time. Upset. It's kind of, is it concluding everything, obviously, that we've seen? The more he's running, the more the situation is in need of him to be there. So good. It is. It's almost like a, a still image cut of going through time on the series. And then this is the final battle. Oh, the base run there. Oh, great. They're all together. Wow. The music on that, by the way, that was so good. The music on that was absolutely fantastic. But what a brilliant set of endings. That was such a pleasure to sit here for what the best part of half an hour and watch 